the sun is out, summer's finally here, so it's time to dust off the old barbecue, get a bunch of our active hands aids together and get grilling. Today we're going to be doing some cheeseburgers, some chicken tikka skewers and then using this cookbook we're going to be doing a Greek salad and an eaten mess. So let's get inside and let's get prepping. First up, it's the chicken tikka skewers, and for that we're going to need some low-fat natural yoghurt, some hot curry paste, some chicken breasts, and a pepper. First up, we've got to add some low-fat natural yoghurt into a mixing bowl. Now, now I'm just going to take a nice scoop of natural yoghurt out, give it a bang in, add a little bit more. Now, to open the, the jar, we're going to pop it on our anti-slip mat, we're going to get our jar opener which will grip round the lid much easily so when we twist it, you just need to give it a twist like that, the jar comes off naturally in the opener. It's then simple as sliding on your looped cutlery aid, I've got a teaspoon here, I need four teaspoons of this added to my yoghurt. So, and we're going to stick on the next one now, which goes on simply like that. Velcro's on, already got the uh, spoon preloaded into the pad here, and now it's just a case of mixing these together. Now, we want to have it cubed to put into the, um, to put onto the skewers. And now we're ready to move on to the chicken. We'll grab a chicken, the first chicken breast, pop it on the spike head, hold it in place. And then it's simply a case of cutting through it and getting them into skewerable chunks, I would say. One down, one more to go. So with your chicken chopped and cubed, you want to add it to your spicy marinade now, stir it all together, and then once it's all covered by the marinade, you want to leave it to marinate for at least an hour. And then once that's done, we can take our peppers, we can take our marinated chicken, and we can stick it onto our skewers ready to barbecue. Next up, it's the cheeseburgers. And to make those, we're going to need a pack of beef burgers, or vegan burgers, vegetarian burgers, whatever you prefer, a pack of burger buns, and some cheese. First off, we need to get into the packages. And for that, we're going to use the nimble. Now, the nimble has a tiny blade on the end of it that won't cut through skin, but will cut through any packaging or mail and things, which makes it really, really useful. So we slide it onto the end of our finger, like that, then push it against the package you want to open, slide it down, and just like that, we're in. Do the same with the burger buns, just push it, into the packaging, like so, and voila, we're in. Now for sawing through our burger buns, we are gonna use this right angle bread knife, which I've incorporated with the general purpose gripping aid for extra security. So we simply get our bread buns on the side, then use the bread knife to very quickly, very easily, just cut through them, now for slicing our cheese on top of the burgers, we're going to once again use our food preparation board, which comes with a few handy built-in gadgets. We take the spike lid off here, and underneath we find a grater for grating coarsely, a grater for grating finely, and also a slicer here. Now at the bottom of the board is this collection bowl, which will collect whatever we grate or slice. So we flip the slicer over like that, pop it on top of our board, 
we get our cheese and it's simply a question of running it across the slicer like so. So just by doing this a few times quickly and easily and you can see we slice our cheese ready for the burgers. Now it's on to the Greek salad and we're finding this recipe in this great cookbook, Cup Funners by Ian Taverner. So for this recipe, we're going to need a red onion, a lettuce, some oregano, feta cheese, cucumber, the book says tomatoes, I'm using cherry tomatoes, um, some olives, some olive oil. First thing we're going to do is get into any packaging that we need to. And for these packages in particular, we're going to use the nimble. We've popped it onto, uh, I popped it onto my finger like so, and then we're going to use this little blade to run across the packages, the package. Open up the cheese like that, and then do a very similar thing with the cherry tomatoes. First up, we're going to chop our veg. So that's our salad done. We're going to add it to a mixing bowl and then pop the rest of the ingredients in next. This lid has a wrinkle on it. So what we're going to use to get into this one is the five in one opener. So we've got it securely on our anti-slip mat. Now there is a slit in the end of it here and that is great for just lifting up the ring pull if you need to access it a bit easier. And then to open it properly, we're going to use this hook. We simply hook it under the ring pull like so and then we pull it and voila, the lid is off. Now all we need to do is drain the water out of it and we can pop the olives into the mixing bowl. With the olives added to the mixing bowl and the feta cheese broken up by hand and sprinkled in, it's now time to add the olive oil and the oregano. And once we've got everything that is now into our mixing bowl, it, we've got to mix it by hand just very gently, very lightly, so as not to mush everything off. And then once we've given it a good thorough mix, our salad is ready to dish up. Lastly, we move on to our dessert, the Eaton Mess. And we are once again going to be using this fantastic cookbook, Cupfulness by Ian Taverner. First up, it's very simple. We're just going to take our meringue mess and crush them into a bowl. I think we have more than enough crushed meringue now, so we're going to move on to the strawberries, the cream and the icing sugar next. Next up, we're going to pour our double cream into a slightly larger mixing bowl. And then after that, we're going to add a couple of teaspoons of icing sugar. Once that is all in, we are going to mix it together using this push whisk. So with our knife secured, it's time to get chopping. So that's our strawberries chopped, ready to be added to the cream, the icing sugar, and the meringues all together. So now we've got our mixture nice and thick. We're going to add our chopped strawberries to it. Then we're going to give it a nice mix. And once again, in order to do that, we're going to be popping on our small item aid. Of 
got the wooden spoon already loaded in, so you stick it in velcro like that, and then give it a good stir. Make sure the strawberries are all mixed together, mixed in like that. It's pretty quick and easy. And then after that, we're going to add the meringue now. And then once the meringue's in, we're going to give that another good stir. And then when that's all been stirred and it's all together, you're ready to put it in a bowl, you can serve it straight away, or you can pop it in the fridge and ready for dessert. So with the coals glowing, the chicken and peppers skewered and the burgers out of the packet, it's time to pop them on the barbecue. nothing better than having a refreshing drink while the barbecue is going and for that we're going to use the automatic bottle opener simply pop it on top of the cap like this give it a firm push down and the lid pops off it's now time to flip the burgers and for that we're going to use the easy hold strap on this spatula now these easy hold straps come in various different sizes and they are great for attaching to a multitude of different implements. Once they're on, simply slide your hand in them like so and they will hold you steadily so the item is not going to come out. And it's now time to give these burgers a flip. They are looking good. Now I've got the cheese on the burgers, just melting away nicely. We have the buns toasting there. It's just about time for marshmallow break. And away we go. So there we go. A barbecue meal brought to you with a variety of active hands aids and this cupfulness cookbook. Now with the rest of the food on the barbecue, waiting for the guests to arrive, I'm gonna dig into this with my cutlery grip before Bertie starts making a move on these uh, skewers. I swear they said they were going to be here. Guys! <laughs> 